Calls and Insider. I'm Dustin Hodges. This weekend, Watkins Glen International hosted rounds five and six of the 2018 North American Formula 1000 Championship presented by American Racer Tire. Following a full day of test and tune, it was time for the Random Drawing Awards and Dinner Social held every Friday night during championship events. With cash prizes from Taylor, Sunoco, Youngblood, and HRP, plus discounts and products from American Racer Tire, MPT Industries, Race Mirrors, Rebel Gears, Real Tech Racing, VisorCamUSA.com, and Wolf Motorsports, every driver wins in F1000 Championship Racing. Saturday morning, drivers awoke to beautiful 70 degree weather and clear skies for round five qualifying. Once again, it was the defending champion, Alex Mayer, putting his number 77 Mayer Motorsports Technotech's JDR on pole, followed closely by teammate Jose Gerardo in the number 14 G-Labels JDR, Doug Hertz in the number 13 Sunrise Solar Solutions Furman, Riley Harris in the number 12 Murray Consulting Mantic, with Mike Myers in the number 111 Philly Motorsports DBF 1000 rounding out the Fast Five. Now let's go for a ride from behind the visor with your pole sitter, the number 77, Alex Mayer. behind the visor view. 
When the green flag flew on round five, Mayer jumped out to a commanding lead. However, behind the 77, it was a wheel-to-wheel -wheel battle for second through fourth. Jose Gerardo, Doug Hertz, and Riley Harris put on a phenomenal show until just past halfway. Coming through the laces of the boot, Hertz would end up a little wide, get a little loose in the marbles. Coming across the track, Gerardo had nowhere to go, and the two collided. Hertz would continue with a bent wheel to finish second. However, Gerardo would retire immediately with severe suspension damage. Both drivers were unhurt and very apologetic, agreeing the incident was just racing. On the same lap, Riley Harris would have issues with downshifting and send the RPM of his number 12 way beyond the recommended range and suffer the consequences, retiring with engine-related issues. Not too far behind the battle for second, Steve Hamilton in the number 93 and Mike Myers in the 111 were putting on a great show as well until Myers spun in the bus stop, ensuring another podium finish for the number 93 CSI leasing EPCUSA.com of Steve Hamilton. Myers would recover and finish in fourth with Tim Pierce in the Waterfall Security Solutions Ricky Coolers JDR rounding out the top five. The grid for round six would appear very similar to round five, with only a few minor changes. Riley Harris would join Alex Mayer on the front row as Mayer Motorsports was unable to repair the damage to Gerardo's JDR. He was forced to start at the rear in Tim Pierce's former Furman, now owned by Thomas Copeland. Doug Hurst would also miss the green flag after having starter issues, but would join the race and be running at the finish to claim valuable championship points. Gerardo would not let starting at the back spoil his day. After a phenomenal start, moving from last to third before turn one, Gerardo and Riley Harris battled all race with Gerardo coming out ahead in the end, taking home second place and the Sunoco Hard Charger Award. Riley Harris would hang on for his first podium finish in F1000 professional competition. However, the day would once, along, once again be dominated by the defending champion, the 77 of Alex Mayer. Now let's head on over to the podium for round six from Watkins Glen. Third place finisher to come on up. Can I get Mr. Riley Harris? Congratulations, buddy. First podium. So uh, let's get our, third, our second place finisher up here. And he's also our hard charger award winner, Mr. Jose Gerardo. And your race winner, it is now six for six in 2018. You guys got to do something about this. Alex Mayer. So let's get these guys some trophies. Uh, can we get our lovely trophy presenter up here, Alex's sister? So if we could get, let's do our, uh, yeah, go ahead. Just bring them all up. Just bring them all on up. Let's do it. We're not that fancy around here. Uh, I'll bring you. <laughs> Trade you. <laughs> good job. See, that's a good crew comes in handy, guys. Look at that. Off the track as well. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead. We'll, uh, nope, just this. Jose, your other trophy, the uh, Hard Charger Award for Sunoco. Going last to second, guys. Last to second. Amazing. All right. Big check time. So first up, let's do the Hard Charger one. We'll go ahead and do that since we're standing here. 100 bucks from Sunoco. Thank you. We'll do our third place finisher, Mr. Riley Harris. $100. Say thank you, American Racer. And another check for Jose. You're racking them up, buddy. 200 bucks. And 300 for your winner, Alex Mayer. Give these guys a big round of applause. So, Alex, uh, tell us about the race, man. You seem kind of, you're cruising. Uh, these guys are going to get kind of tired of this, man. Yeah, well, the race went real well. Um, figured we'd try to do a really slow start just to you know, keep everybody bottled up and safer for turn one. But other than that, it was a great race. Once I got out there, it kind of set a good pace and just kept going with it. And, you know, it was good. But I'd like to, you know, thank everybody in my crew, Mike Signor for the great setup and Dad and everybody for helping out. And it was great. Thanks, guys. Awesome. Yeah. Jose, last to first. I already got yelled at by every, I'm sorry, last to second. I already got yelled at by everybody for not filming the front straightaway for this thing, because apparently it was spectacular. You want to talk us through your start? Well, um, Alex had a plan, and I just went along with it. <laughs> no, um, no, it was, I mean, 
I hung back a little bit, and that gave me a little bit of an advantage. But everybody was very careful out there, gentlemen. Um, everybody gave everybody room. Uh, and yeah, I was able to get to the first corner in third place. And from then on, it was just catching Riley and, and coasting after that. But yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. Well, congratulations. You run one day in a JDR, the next day in a Furman. Uh, by the way, Glenn Cooper says you now have run more F1000 cars than he has, and that's a feat. So good job on that. Uh, Riley, what do you think, man? First time on the podium. Congratulations. How was your race? Uh, it was good. Uh, had a good start. Kept everybody behind me. Tried to keep up with Alex, but noticed Jose was already in my mirrors after turn one. So that made it a little more interesting. Was but, that surprising? You weren't expecting that? Yeah, no, I didn't think he would come up that quick. <laughs> But, no, it was a great race. It was a lot of fun. Jose and I had a couple of good laps of racing before we had some heating issues that we had to deal with. But definitely big thanks to my crew and Alex's crew for providing spare parts that even made it possible for us to run today. So. You hear that, guys? Spare parts from a competitor to get him out on, on track. You don't get that in most racing classes. So good job, guys. Way to be. Sportsmanship. I got a whole car. <laughs> Jose got a whole car. Yeah, I mean, that's, you know, what do you get? You don't get that. You know, most of the times people won't even let you look at your wings if you're not on the team, you know? So good job, guys. We've got a, uh, a new, we're trying, we got a new sponsor this weekend that nobody knew about. Balator provided champagne for the F1000 championship for this weekend. So guys, say thank you to them. And have a good time. <laughs> All right. Well, then, everybody, follow me. Come on out, boys. Step right outside the garage and have some fun. Yeah, this is real deal champagne. It's a cork and everything, guys. Don't put each other's eyes out. Good Lord! <laughs> Congratulations, guys. Wonderful show. Good job. All right, guys, we'll see you all in a month from mid-Ohio for round seven and eight of the 2018 North American Formula 1000 Championship presented by American guys, Racing and Congratulations to all the F1000 Championship drivers from rounds five and round six at Watkins Glen. For more information about the North American Formula 1000 Championship presented by American Racer Tire, visit NorthamF1000.com. Stay up to the minute with all the weekend's activities throughout the season. Follow the series across social media, including Facebook and Apex Speed at NorthamF1000. Next up for Formula 1000 Championship, August 4th and 5th at Mid-Ohio Sports Car Horse. Thanks for watching, folks. I'm Dustin Hodges for Right Turn Racing TV. We will see you in just a few weeks for IndyCar at Mid-Ohio.